profound development in human history, the internet. It is a double-edged sword at all times. It's the most liberating technological development in the history of humanity. It's also the greatest surveillance tool that's ever been devised. I have seen the internet realize all of my dreams for it, and with them, every single one of my nightmares. Come on, fire! The internet is uh, the last remaining free world. Let's make this last free world stay free. Let's not civilize it. In times of crisis, it is the only time we have as societies and individuals to do that very necessary transformative change. And so a revolution is not worth anything if there is no evolutionary process. For democracy, there is very little that you ought to be doing that, can, that should be secret, if anything, honestly. I felt that it was important that there be a place where all the forbidden knowledge could be safely stored and nobody could do much about it. And suddenly that, ha ha, Iceland had a tradition of openness towards expression and thought. I want to um, make our laws so they fit into the 21st century. We are taking all the best laws from around the world to build one comprehensive Vision. Iceland is setting itself up to have good laws to go and protect data. What Brigitte is trying to do in Iceland is to build a place that, that exists where people have access to the world's knowledge, where the government and corporations are on your side. Information in Icelandic servers would be very much like money in Swiss banks. I think it's going to make a huge difference moving things to Iceland where they have these protections, but also pressuring other countries to adopt similar protections. Birgitta is a real model for how an activist can be influential from the inside. Where people can freely speak their mind without fear of repercussion, where people are able to really um, use the internet as they might if they weren't terrified of being observed or fearful about being blocked. Or It is going to get a lot worse if we don't really work to make it better. Turbulent times uh, offer opportunities for change, not just for for those that want more oppression, but also for those that want less. And that if you're prepared, if you're willing to work fast, if you're agile, uh, you can accomplish great change. Why, why would you want to help him, give him asylum in Iceland? Well, I think that the information that he has provided into the public domain is very important for every individual that uses the internet or uses phones. I just want you to be aware of that there is a very serious attack on freedom of information, on freedom of speech and expression. So just remember it is always darkest before dawn.